This is an exhilarating sport. At takeoff, we can reach speeds of 45 kilometres an hour. A fast team will average 32 k's an hour, which is fast in anyone's book. Everyone ready? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Come on. We're very passionate about this sport. We always really have been. Uh, my wife, Lisa, says uh, having dogs is a bit like potato chips. You can't stop at one. But you, when you see the dogs out here in the forest, ready to, in their harness, lined out, ready to go, you just know that it's great for them. And what's better than being out in the middle of winter uh, in zero degrees, watching steam rise from the dogs uh, and having a great run. Yeah, well, I've got four here today. Um, we've got a couple of seven-year-olds, uh, a four-year-old here and a two-year-old. Yeah, so I live up near Campbelltown, um, so about a three-hour drive uh, to get me down to Cohen Forest this morning, down closer to Canberra. Okay, let's go, 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 go! It, whilst it's competitive, it's it's not a win for sheep stations, it's just go out there and have fun really. So it's, it's competitive, but it's really about the dogs enjoying themselves. This one I'd like to run away right now if she could. I mean, I think the more time you spend with your dog and try and lean into whatever their breeding is, you know, if they're a gun dog or they're a shepherd or try to meet um, the needs of their breeding and what they were bred to do because that's going to be that's going to make them the happiest and I'm noticing that that's just starting to I'm just seeing the beginnings of that now with him. So we're lucky enough to have Siberian Huskies and we've got uh, sort of European style we've got American style Canadian style we've bred into a, a line that we want to continue with. So when you're running uh, multiple dogs in a, in a team you need to have lead dogs who will give you uh, the ability to turn corners on demand. Uh, they'll, let you, uh, they'll increase your speed or decrease your speed and look for the right trail conditions to make sure the whole team is safe. Then you have swing dogs who might be older dogs um, who have been in lead, who if things are not going exactly according to plan with the leaders, they might help you bring the team around. Uh, you move back into the team with uh, team dogs they just want to run. They don't really uh, have an ambition to go to the front. They don't really want to do anything else other than please you. And then your uh, wheel dogs, which are the back ones closest to you on the sled or the rig, etc. They just want to run hard. They want to please you. They want to take all the drive. They are normally stronger dogs. And together you have an amazing team. And without each one of those pieces working, including yourself, it just doesn't work. We're all here to help each other. You know, we help each other get out in the mornings with the right gear. We help each other um, you know, if, if issues arise on a trail. This isn't about being competition. This is about community. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.